Oaxacan food is probably my most favorite food in the entire world. It combines two of my favorite ingredients, chocolate and chilies. I had never tried anything like it before until my neighbors turned me on to it. A traditional mole can have everything from peanuts, almonds, raisins, chilies, pretty much everything. My mole is really simple. It only has a few ingredients and you can serve it on anything from eggs to enchiladas. Tonight we have our friends coming over for a dinner party, so we are serving it on tacos. So my Oaxacan neighbors were telling me uh, the grocery store that everyone in the Oaxacan community in Los Angeles goes to. So each corner here has its own carniceria, but I was told to go to the one that has the yellow sign and the pig on it. What's a carniceria, dude? It's like a butcher store. So it's, you know, where you buy your carne asadas and different meats and chorizos and things like that. Right now I'm getting some marinated meat from the meat town. Like pre marinated, gorgeous. And then when I take this off the grill, I'm going to put a homemade espresso chipotle mole over it. It's got some smoky pepper, it's got chocolate and coffee. It's really quick and easy to make, and it's going to be the perfect thing to put on our tacos. I'm going to put all the ingredients in a food processor. You can use a blender if that's what you have at home. All I'm going to put in is some stewed or chopped tomatoes. I got some onions. I got some garlic and some of those canned chipotle chilies that are come in the adobo sauce. I get another extra one in there for some spice. Now I'm just gonna blend it for just a few seconds until it's smooth. All right, that looks about good. Now that this is all blended, I am gonna put it in a saucepan that has a little bit of olive oil already heated up in it. I'm gonna add a little bit of coffee. This is gonna give it a strong bite. I'm just gonna cook it down for a couple of minutes until it starts to thicken up and some of the coffee's cooked off. I like to add the chocolate in at the end after the heat is off so it doesn't burn it and kind of give it that bitter flavor. I'm actually just using chocolate chips because that's what I had in the house, but you can use any type of chocolate that you want. The chocolate is now melted and the sauce is beginning to look dark and rich. It's really beginning to look like a bowl. I'm just gonna put it in a container so it can sit for a little bit. So then the flavors just really have a chance to incorporate together and bring out the full flavor of the chilies and the chocolate. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm gonna get ready while Sky grills the meat. Get ready for the rest of our guests. Oh, it's yucca. It's kind of like the Spanish equivalent of a potato. It's really starchy and they do the same thing as you would as a potato, bake it as it is, either like a baked potato, or you can peel it and boil it and season it a little bit. Some of my favorite people in the entire world just arrived and I'm excited to finally start our dinner party. So basically how I eat it is I just have a corn tortilla, put a few little pieces of the carne asada. This is what we got at the carniceria. It was already pre-marinated and ready for the grill. A little bit of the mole, some lettuce, and maybe a little squeeze of fresh lime. I would get a plate, but I'm gonna probably eat this in two bites. All right, here we go. This is really good. Really good. Okay, time to finish this up and have a cocktail. I made hibiscus punch that spiked with a little tequila. You can get the recipe for our chocolate espresso mole on our website at www.culinaryadventureswithmariko.com. Enjoy!